Hello there, how can I help? Are you alright today? Mark Lee runs a hairdresser's, which is one of the businesses that signed up to the new Love Pocklington campaign. The campaign has involved Pocklington's traders and the town council has also joined in too. Sophie Metcalf is the creative director at the Soapy Group, the firm which will be managing this initiative. The businesses all came together a few weeks ago to discuss what needs to be done for the town really. We as a marketing company decided that we kind of wanted a more commercial approach to bringing more people into the town so we've kind of built this brand for Pocklington. Um, it's a really family friendly, sunny, bright, shiny brand. We want people to be attracted to Pocklington as a town. Essentially we want Pocklington to be more desirable to shoppers and thus making it more desirable to more traders. We do have a handful of empty shops at the moment. We're very keen to get those filled although it's not really our job to do that but we do want to make Pocklington more desirable so we will be promoting the town across Yorkshire and beyond through advertising campaigns digitally, in newspapers, on radio, etc. Back at the hairdressers, Mark Lee explains how he thinks it will help the town. I feel like it's a, a fantastic thing to bring uh, more people into the community, more people from the actual community into the town centre. Our catchment is quite wide. We find that for us on our surveys that we cover about 15 different villages surrounding the areas. It can go up to, you know, as far as Malton and York and Beverly, Hull. So you've got a big, big kind of surrounding for us. It's just giving them that reason to come in and keep them in the town centre after they've been to the hairdressers, then going to use the other shops and uh, seeing what Pocklington's got to offer. Pocklington's traders feel sure the town's mix of independent shops at the doorstep of the Yorkshire Worlds will prove a popular draw, especially as visitors can also see the award-winning Burnby Hall Gardens during their visit. Chris Arundel, Pocklington.